Hi there, welcome to the Happy Chip Group YouTube channel. Thanks for joining me today. I'm gonna to be talking about how to deal with loud roosters. Before I get into that, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also be sure to subscribe to the website, thehappychickengroup.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you will receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So if you're lucky enough to live in an area where you can have roosters, you probably won't think twice about the rampant crowing. <laughs> You won't be wrong either. Most areas that are very rural or zoned agricultural are pretty rooster friendly. So how to deal with a loud rooster would never be an issue. Though there are a few circumstances that might require you to keep your boys quiet. So I'm gonna be talking about that today and the best way to deal with the rooster's crow. You have to work late and sleep in. Loud crowing can be incredibly frustrating as well as if you just enjoy sleeping late on weekends, have tired guests, a new baby or a stubborn toddler or sensitive neighbors. A loud rooster can be just as annoying as a dog that barks at everything nonstop. If you live in a more densely populated area, your neighbors may be also frustrated because of the same reason. If your neighbor works nights and sleeps during the day, a loud rooster can ruin their quality of sleep. Contrary to popular belief, roosters don't just crow when they see the sun coming up, they can crow in the middle of the night if they're awoken and notice activity. Some like to crow at 3 a.m. or even 10 p.m. The biggest reason why you may need to keep a rooster quiet is that you live in the city. Most cities that allow a coop with a few hens don't allow you to keep a rooster, but if you bought straight run chicks, you may end up with one or more boys, and even if you bought sexed chicks, the hatchery may have made a mistake. Unfortunately, in this situation, you would usually have to rehome or process the roosters. Lastly, some places allow roosters as long as he's not considered a nuisance. If there are too many complaints from neighbors, he'll have to go. So let's talk about what to do. Capitalization. It's one way to deal with a loud rooster, but it's a rather extreme one. And it only works if it's done young enough. This is actually castrating the young males so they never get the hormones that make them crow. It is done by surgically removing the testicles from the young cockerels abdominal cavity and kits are readily available online. However, this isn't a sure thing when it comes to crowing. Some capins have been known to crow a little bit, although it's still generally a lot less. Capins are often better pets than roosters because they are less aggressive and don't attempt to breed hens constantly. They do get larger and heavier than intact cockerels, which is the whole reason for capinization in the first place. They were intended to create a better meat bird. If you want to try it out, good luck. This surgical procedure is not for the faint of heart and could cause extreme pain and suffering, if not death, if done improperly. Capinization experts are hard to find and you'd be hard to press to find a veterinarian that does the procedure. If your cockerel is old enough, enough to start crowing, he's unfortunately too old for the procedure anyway. We always recommend letting a rooster be a rooster, and though capitalization is a method, we do not specifically encourage it. Another option is low cage. Low cages can help prevent roosters crowing. If he can't stretch out his neck, he can't really crow. If you've ever watched one in action, you notice how he has to assume the position to get it out. This is a good method if you're trying to keep quiet in the morning, but you can't keep him locked up like that for very long. A low cage is uncomfortable and can be inhumane if used for punishment or if you leave him there for more than just overnight. This method is used for temporary setup or transport of roosters in ordinance restricted cities and localities. Another option is indoor coops. Some people have cages to house roosters overnight that are kept inside the garage and covered with a thick blanket to block a lot of the sounds. When done right, the roosters are safe, have food, water, and space, and result in a very faint crow that likely won't wake anyone up. Unlike the smaller low cage, you can keep roosters in here for a lot longer if it's appropriately sized. Another one, another option you can do is try a late release from the coop. You can also insulate your coop and keep your flock safe inside until it's late enough to let them loose on the world. Adequate insulation will cut back greatly on sounds. If your coop has windows, black them out so he can't notice as much of the world waking up either. There's also no crow collars. This doesn't eliminate crowing necessarily, but they can cut back on the noise. A cheaper option is to make your own with some Velcro. He'll try and carry on like normal, but at least it won't be as noticeable or obnoxious. It's worth a try if you're out of options, but roosters aren't thrilled with them. Another method we do not necessarily encourage, but it is a method that is used. Or if you're planning on having roosters in the future is pick a breed that is naturally quiet. You can just pick a rooster from one of those breeds. Unfortunately, no one has bred a breed with silent roosters yet. Saramas are known to be quiet, and since they're so tiny, their crow is pretty weeny. Other bantams are also considered a little quieter just due to the size, but some people feel their high-pitched crows might actually carry further. An occasional rose comb bantam rooster doesn't crow much, if at all, but they can be difficult to find. 
Other general quiet breeds of chickens like Orpingtons may crow less, but will still crow. The next one is reducing the population and actually can help deal with the loud rooster crowing. Only having one rooster around helps too, the more roosters you have, the more competition they have, so you end up with an endless serenade all day long. A lone rooster with hens tend to be a bit quieter since he doesn't have much to prove to the world. The next one is conditioning. Another tedious option is to discipline the rooster every time they crow, but place them in timeout or give a careful soaking with a hose, weather permitting, of course. But if this requires dedication, lots of crowing, and you also need to be home and available to follow through. The rooster may learn your schedule and realize they can crow when you can't get to them. Some people have had luck decreasing the overall crowing amount, but not eliminating it. And lastly, the final solution, if you have a rooster that absolutely will not quiet down, you have the option to rehome. It can be easier and more humane to let your boy move out to a farm where he can just be a rooster. Aggressive roosters tend to produce more aggressive offspring, so they aren't safe to keep for breeding. Despite their small size, they can do a lot of damage, especially to small children or elderly people. Other roosters have been known to chase visitors and anything on the property it sees as a potential threat. Just talk to your neighbors. If you live in an area that allows roosters but have neighbors close by, it might be wise to just speak with the neighbors before jumping to conclusions. Some people enjoy hearing the barnyard sounds of a rooster and actually won't mind at all. Don't assume everyone just hates it. You might get lucky. That's gonna do it for us here at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for joining us today. If you like our content, if you find it interesting, if you learn something new, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.